Hey guys, this is Max from MHS Prod and today we will use Sketch and Tune. I will show you how to create this kind of very great looking with C4D. I will do a tutorial on my workflow and how I use Sketch and Tune. So uh, this is not an A to Z tutorial. I will avoid some points to go and focus on uh, what I do with um, this great uh, effect into C4D. So I've created a lot of scene for a French phone company um, lately and I want to share you tips because I've um, <laughs> I've used a lot sketch and, sketch and tune with a project with another guy called uh, Maxim too. Uh, this was the same guy um, of uh, this project really cool about a uh, uh, science uh, meeting in France. So we will jump into C4D. If you're new to this video or this channel, you must know that we are mostly a French channel, but we produce sometime English content. You have in the upper right the content language and you have colors to know uh, what the video is about. So the tutorials are in green, the artists are in orange, podcasts are in uh, uh, purple and so you have um, a lot of different uh, kind of videos that's my dog just uh, passing out <laughs> so we will jump right now into c4d and see great stuff so this is an extract uh, for from the project i do not have the shadows because the shadows was made on other projects and i um, and was and they were composed into After Effects. So I will show you today on how to how create this kind of really great uh, shapes from simple to more complex stuff using Sketch and Tune really really easy, easily. Uh, I will say it again. We will avoid all the complex stuff and we will just focus on how I use it. And I think you will uh, have some time. It's a, it will be a time saver. So I will just drop a simple cube, very hard to model, and I will go into my options and disable my head because we do not care. So when you are into standard render, you need to go to effects and find sketch and tune. As soon as you find sketch and tune, you will uh, see sketch and tune uh, into your project. So what I mostly do is um, control it by myself. So I will show you the different um, tab and the one I use. So here you can save styles, but I do not use style. I like to create a different style every time or go back um, and start from the same project. Uh, on the lines, you have a default preset and all uh, default settings are um, ruled by this uh, tab. But I'd like to disable this material so you will uh, just see uh, the stuff you're creating with your own materials. Into the renders, I often do not uh, change. Into multi paces, I just uh, use multi paces when I want to have uh, different uh, lines on different paces, but uh, today I will not use it. And one of the most important tab is probably um, shadows. Uh, I don't know the English word for that, but in French it's ombrage. Mm, very poetic. Here you have your background color, so you can disable your background and just focus on uh, your render here, your sketch and tune render. So there, absu there's absolutely nothing. So here I have my lines, but I do not have the background. And you have a default um, shading, so you can disable it or use different kind of shading. But I will show you that I prefer use directly the shading uh, with my um, tag. So let's uh, bring back your background and let's stay how it is right now. So I will create a new material and just build uh, um, this channel uh, light. No, do, do not know the English word for that, but um, it's a luminescence in French. That's a light channel and when I put it I will just have my lines. So as you see you have a perfect 
perspective you are now a drawer this is really nice to 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 have that and uh, you can apply these materials on every shape and that's uh, why i love sketch and tune so i disable that and you will see that it will apply to my um, character now uh, we will focus on the tag because you have a lot of uh, powerful options on the tag and also on the material that's probably more important that the thing uh, you will find uh, there so i'm go to here and here you will um, go into lines and you can uh, tick the box with the line you want to render so you can uh, make uh, really fun shapes by uh, a by um, clicking different uh, kind of um, of stuff and uh, this is a, a really great way to render objects into C4D uh, you must know that you can render to splines so I, I like that you can do really fun things and when you apply your material into your spline and tick spline you will have your spline rendered so that's that's really nice because you do not have geometry and you have a rendered spline so that's uh, really nice here i can uh, activate the shadow and you can do really nice things so i will just um, delete this uh, material and i will go uh, there to show you what uh, ombrage so that's the default uh, shading uh, the more you quantification you have the more um, lines um, you will have uh, i like to use uh, two um, here uh, the gradient because it will uh, do very nice uh, shading and i like to colorize my shading and you can uh, do uh, really nice uh, really nice looks uh, with uh, this option to create more uh, funny characters so feel free to control um, directly your your look uh, with um, with this and create uh, the shape you want so for the moment I will just uh, take back my material and disable it because I like to only see the lines um, and I will, uh, for example, click back on um, triangulate because I find that uh, it's a, it's a fun render. I like uh, how it is. So next thing is to focus on the material, and that's uh, the place where you can find the best uh, option. Uh, you can uh, change the your looks there into. Uh, Tray, tray, trails. Do not know the English word, so I will say it in French. That's tray, and you can change it to different things to have different looks. And I think that looks really, really amazing. You can have uh, dots, and you can uh, put a lot of dots, and you can combine uh, different uh, different things, and you can to go uh, go to this and go in and have different kind of selection or influence cards but i will just focus on very basic stuff today so what i like to use is um, its latest point to to have um, to have this kind of uh, style and i really like how it looks and i think that's uh, that's very fun to have this kind of of look and because the perspective is perfect because you are in 3d software uh, you have to uh, the possibility to adjust it and what I like is um, dépassement um, here you can add uh, a percent of uh, randomness and it will uh, put longer or shorter uh, trace and it looks like it was really drawn and I really like how it looks so for me this is a really really important um, tab I, I like to uh, decalage decalage and uh, do not know the English words but uh, go there and it will add more randomness uh, to the draw and that's what 
uh, makes your draw look random and a bit uh, like a draw, you know. The uh, next thing is is going to, to add a distortion because it, it looks too uh, computer generated. It does not look like real um, trace. So just uh, tick it and you will see that, wow, this, this add randomness and I, I like because when you trace uh, um, lines into real life, you you are we you not have uh, perfect lines. So I, I like to stay uh, mostly where it is and just uh, add, add um, a smaller amount of randomness just to control it and probably add more um, uh, steps. Just. Just find the right the, the, the way you you like. This spline is nice too. It's more smooth. Uh, so just add randomness to your draw. And colors is nice because you will um, you can add different colors to your um, to, to your lines. And which is really nice into Sketch and Tune is that you can add uh, like um, deformers. That's not deformers, but that that's random modifiers, modifiers, and I have, for example, a modifier of color uh, by the length, and it it helps me to create a really nice shape. So I, I like to just add some something more gray, you know, to to have uh, just a bit of difference of color. Uh, to add uh, randomness because when you draw in in real life you do not have a perfect um, the same intensity every time just depend uh, if if it's with a pain or, or something else but I like I I like how it is now and I like to uh, change uh, this it's the, the scale and uh, I like to to length and probably add uh, something um, like that and this will change the look and as you see you have something more uh, thick and that's, that's really nice to play with that's a very important uh, thing you have opacity too I, I like to tick this so these two will be uh, related and connected um the things I will like and the most is um clonage cloner effect and when you clone it will replicate and clone your your uh, lines and this will looks like uh, more more like a, a real draw now because in real life you you do a lot a lot a lot lot of uh, different draws and I think that looks uh, really nice and that that really looks like a draw because you have randomness, you have different kind of uh, of shapes and the wall is in 3D so you can imagine to uh, put this, this material on uh, fucking every mesh you have and that's uh, probably the best uh, things I, I like, you can increment it, you can add so much uh, so much randomness uh, to it and that's too powerful and I really really like and you can um, use a start and ending to add some uh, place where uh, you do not have clones so this add much more randomness and it will look again more like a draw and I, I really like what you can do with Sketch and Tune, it's so much powerful. And one thing you must know is that um, this is a preview quality. To have the full quality, you must uh, save your image because uh, you, you always will have a different quality uh, by hitting this uh, uh, render into the view or um, at the end. Even if you change a bit uh, the lines into view but I do not use this option I always render but you can to render the, the, the lines into your, your viewer but that 
I do not like because it looks too too different from from the render. So I I do not want to waste my time and just go here. Just choose uh, where you want to record and just uh, fucking do renders, man. Um, and he, you can apply then it to every every object, and that's that's really really amazing for me. And that's that's my sketch and tune render, and it looks amazing. That's another sketch and tune render, and as as you see, you have like. Uh, small randomness and that's nice you have again another uh, sketch and tune render and all uh, they looks like uh, amazing and like draws and you can imagine to apply it to anything and that's what's the best with the sketch and tune uh, you can uh, do so much incredible thing and it will always looks <laughs> amazing and looks like draw I fucking really enjoy it and let's imagine put a car and if you're not happy just go to the tag lines and if you want to have more lines just uh, draw more lines you have so much lines to to check and to play with to have different renders uh, here that's a very simple cube but if, if I had more uh, segments to it I will have uh, more lines going on and I <laughs> I love it that's a uh, really nice um, things nice too that I already showed you that's you can draw spline and just apply a material and it will render and as you probably know uh, uh, you can have a lot of splines uh, with C4D, like you can um, have splines with text. You can have so much, so much things. You have all this option to make great renders. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and that that it helped you to discover the Sketch and Tune uh, powerful options. I hope you will uh, try it and use it and tweak it and do uh, a lot of cool renders with it and do like <laughs> like a child draw and that's 3D ma man you can now go everywhere change your camera um, will always looks like a draw and you can change the perspective and that's that's what what I really like with it and so much so so much modification uh, with, with all, 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 all that you can add randomness to uh, That's uh, really fun to play. So I hope you enjoyed this video a bit, and I hope you will experiment uh, with Sketch and Tune because it's uh, one of my new favorite options in 2C4D. I'm a bit sad because I do not know if I will <laughs> reuse it for some project, but I'm really happy that I I've used it uh, for a pro project for this fun uh, company and thanks to, to the people I work with and thanks to the people that um, allow us to experiment and do really amazing things. If you want to join us, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, probably go on to a website or join us on Discord. Uh, Discord uh, is a, a place where you can talk with a French uh, or a, English people you will have uh, talks and that's that's really nice uh, so join us and have fun thanks for watching this video and see you next time guys I will put back my head for the see you guys for the happiness in this video cheers <laughs>